everyone. Myself, Dr. Narshmi Prasad, working as a professor in CSC in the Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. In this video, I am going to discuss uh, about uh, uh, neutron absorption method. So, when it comes to introduction of that, so all we know, uh, as we know that from school days, so we have studied about the solutions of uh, equations like uh, quadratic equations, cubical equations, and polynomial equations. So, which is going to have the roots of the form x is equal to minus b plus or minus b square minus 4 ac. So, where a, b, c should be the quotients of the equation. So, but nowadays it should be the difficult to remember uh, the formulas for high degree polynomial equations. So, hence we are going to remove these difficulties uh, by through various uh, uh, numerical methods. So, in that uh, one of them should be Newton Raphson method. Okay. So, whenever we are going to have the equations like quadratic equation a square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So, in this we are going to calculate the discriminant that should be b square minus uh, 4ac. So, whenever this discriminant value is equal to 0, so then I can able to say that the uh, uh, real and whenever the discriminant value should be less than 0, then I can able to say that should be uh, uh, imaginary. And whenever the discriminant value is greater than 0, then the roots are uh, 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 real and uh, uh, different roots. So, based on that, we are going to calculate. So, the roots may be now the d value should be 1. So, uh, the roots are real. So, both the roots should be uh, equal in this case. And, uh, and whenever the discriminant value should be less than so, then the rules are should be imaginary. It should be of the form a plus ib, a plus i minus ib. And distinct rules, whenever the d should be greater than 0. Then the rule should be minus equal to, here it is case minus Roots are distinct roots in this case, R1 and R2. So, uh, when we are going to be uh, for in order to solve this degree of polynomial equations, we are going to have very few uh, methods uh, uh, like numerical method, we are going to have that one of them should be uh, Newton Raphson method. So, uh, Newton Raphson method is a numerical technique, so it is going to be used to find the roots of the algebraic and transcendental equations. Okay, so this Newton Raphson method is a numerical technique, so it is going to be used and to find the algebraic and transcendental equation. So, algebraic equation means uh, this equation should be of the form uh, either quadratic or should be numerical or polynomial. So, here in this case. Uh, uh, example is that so x power 4 plus s square plus 1 equal to 0 and uh, x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0 and x cube minus 2x minus 5 equal to 0. So, the algebraic equations so of the form should be uh, x power 4 s plus x square plus, x, uh, plus 1 equal to 0 it should be this uh, algebraic form. And here I am going to have another equation like uh, x power 8 minus 1 that should be equal to 0 and x cube minus 2x minus 5 equal to 0. So, these are the various uh, algebraic equations form. And transcendental equation. So, transcendental equation means the equation which is going to contain some transcendental functions uh, such as exponential and trigonometric functions. An example is that sine, cos, tan, e power x, x power e, log, etc. So, some of these examples uh, will be 3x minus cos x minus 1 equal to 0, and log x plus 2x equal to 0, and e power x minus 3x equal to 0, and sine x plus 10x minus 1 uh, equal to 38. And these should be some of the examples of the transcendental equation. So, okay. so the equation which contains some transcendental functions such as exponential and trigonometric. So, here I can able to say they should be uh, sine, cos, tan, and tan e power x log e. And Newton Raphson method is that 
So let us consider an equation f of x equal to 0 which is going to have some graphical representation as like this. So if I'm going to consider a graph or uh, should be on x axis and f of x should be on y axis. So if I'm going to uh, construct a graphical representation, so the graph should be looks like this. So where it should be f dash of uh, slope value and so this is the content that should be above x minus z equal to 0. So here I can able to say this should be the x and x plus z plus no values. Suppose if f of x equal to 0 is given then we have to be start from the initial point x naught and then we have to determine the slope value of x at x equal to x naught. So we have to be called as f dash of x equal to 0. And this slope value should be uh, tan theta. So it should be formed by f of x minus 0 by xi minus xi plus 1. So that should be f dash of x. So here I'm going to get so f dash of x is equal to f of x by xi minus xi plus 1. So then I can able to get this xi plus 1. So x of i minus f of xi by f dash of x. This is the neutral absent formula. Okay. So since I'm going to get f of x equal to 0, that should be a given equation. So from the starting point of x naught, so I have to determine the slope value of x. So at x equal to x naught. Okay. And we have to be called as f dash of x naught here. So the slope value should be uh, tan theta. So it should be the form f of x minus 0 by xi minus xi plus 1. So it should be called as f dash of x. So how can I able to get this, uh, get this f dash of x? So f of x by xi minus xi plus 1. So from this equation, I can able to obtain what should be the value of x i plus 1. So I can able to get it. So x i plus 1, x i minus x i plus 1 is equal to f of x i by f dash of x i. From this, I can able to get this. So x i plus 1 equal to x i minus f of x i by f dash of x i. So the logarithm for f of x equal to 0. So calculate f dash of x symbolically. So choose an initial guess x naught as given below. So choose an uh, initial guess x naught as given below. So let a comma b an interval uh, such that f of a less should be less than 0 and f of b should be less than 0. Then x naught is equal to a plus b by 2. So then x1 equal to x naught minus f of x naught by f dash of x naught. Similarly, can able to calculate x2. So x1 minus f of x by f dash of x naught. So then by repeating this process, we are going to get x3, x4, and x times. So at last we can able to read this stage. So xi plus 1 should be equal to xi. Then we can able to stop it. Then, so xi should be the uh, required root of the given equation. Okay. So the algorithm for uh, f of x equal to 0. So we can able to calculate here is that. So calculate f dash of x symbolically and choose an initial guess x naught as given below. Then uh, let a comma b be any such interval. Then f of a should be less than 0 and f of b should be greater than 0. Then x naught equal to a plus b by 2. Then x1 is equal to x naught minus f of x. So substitute in this equation. So x1, so if i equal to 0, so x1 should be x naught minus f of x i by f dash of x i. Similarly, x2 equal to x1 minus f of x1 by f dash of x1 and x3 is equal to x2 minus f of x2 by f dash of x2. So this is the process that is going on here and 
So at the stage we can able to get xi plus one should be equal to xi, then we can able to find the xi should be the roots of the given equation. So an order by Taylor series. So if I am going to given an equation f of x equal to zero, so then x not be the approximate root of the given equation. So then let uh, x not plus h be the actual root. Should be where h should be very small such that when f of x not plus equal, f of x not plus h equal to zero. So from the Taylor series expansion or expanding this f of x not plus h, so the, the, according to the Taylor series, so this is the equation I can able to get. So if the h is very small value, so f of x not plus h into f dash of uh, x equal to zero, and h square by two factor into f double dash of x zero, and h three by three factor into f double dash of x zero. So by on uh, neglecting the higher powers of uh, h, so f of x not plus h f of x not equal to zero. So from above. So h is equal to minus f naught by f dash of x naught. Okay, from above that, so h equal to f of h uh, minus uh, f of x naught by f dash of x. Naught. So from this, uh, what I'm going to say here is that so so if we have a given equation f of x equal to zero, so where x naught be the appropriate root of the given equation. And we are going to assume that so x naught plus h should be actual root where h should be very small, then f of plus x naught plus h equal to zero, right? So from the Taylor series expansion on expanding this, so how can able to get so f of x naught plus h into f dash of x naught, and next one is h square by 2 factor of f double dash of x naught. And h three by three factor f two dash of x. Okay, so by only uh, neglecting this, so f of x naught plus h of x naught equal to zero. So hence we are going to approximate that. So x i is equal to x naught plus h, and x one is equal to x naught minus f of x naught by f dash of x naught. And second approximation. So x two is equal to x one minus f of x one by f dash of x one. So on repeating this process, we can able to get x n plus one is equal to x n minus f of x n by x dash f dash of x. Okay. So the first approximation x one is equal to x one plus h. So here x one is equal to x not minus f of x naught by f dash of x so x one is equal to x naught minus f of x naught by f dash of x naught and separate approximation x two is equal to x one minus f of x one by f dash of x naught so on repeating this process we can able to get so x n plus one is equal to x n minus f of x n by f dash of x okay x n plus one is equal to x n minus f of x n by f dash of x. So this should be the required Newton Raphson method. So let us consider an example. So how we are going to solve this equation? Uh, suppose if I am going to have a function like this, so f of x is equal to x cube minus two x minus five. So then f dash of x, when I will write the x cube should be written as three x square minus two. So this should be f dash of x. For initial point, I can able to substitute as like this. So f of one, so one cube minus two, that should be one minus seven, that should be minus six. Similarly, f of two, so I can able to get two cube minus two into two minus five, so eight minus four minus five, so that should be eight minus nine, that should be minus one, and f of three. So I can able to get f of three. So that should be three cube minus two into three minus five. Three uh, cube means twenty uh, seven minus six minus five. That should be twenty seven minus eleven. That should be sixteen. So like this, we are going to be calculate these values f of one, f of two, and f of three. Uh, 
So hence the root is going to be lies in between 2 and 3 only. So the initial point x0 equal to, so I can able to get, so 2 plus 3 by 2 that should be 2.5. So according to Taylor series, uh, the Newton Epsilon method formula. So x plus one that should be equal to x n minus f of x n by f dash of x n. By putting all these values in this formula, you can able to find out the values of x one, x two, so on, x n. Okay. So how can you able to say this the rule that lies between minus one and six? So by seeing this value, so the initial point is going to be estimated as so starting and ending. So that should be two plus three by two. That should be 0 0.5. So by substituting these values so in this uh, x n plus one formula, so then x n minus f of x n by f function should be like this. So the x n plus one should be as so x n minus so x n whole cube f dash of x so f of x by f dash of x f of x by f dash of x so this is the equation so what is this equation x n plus 1 is equal to x n minus f of x by f dash of x so x n already we have so that should be x n f of x should be given as this and f dash of x should be like this so by substituting this, I can able to get this equation. So after getting this equation, so f of x minus f dash of x. So initially I'm going to get getting so initial value is two point five. So I can able to get the first root as x one. So I can able to get the x one here. So x one should be so x naught. So x naught minus 0 2 minus 2 into 0 minus 5 by 0 minus 2 that should be minus 2.5 minus minus 5 by 2. Substituting this, we can able to get this value. Similarly, in this, we can able to find x two, x three, x four, and x five. Okay, so uh, how can able to get x naught minus? So this should be zero, zero, so minus five, so plus five by two. So like this, we are going to get that should be. 2.16 something. So in similar fashion, we're going to get x2 also. So x2 means so x1. So what is the x1 value? 2.16. So x1 minus x1 cube minus 2 into x1 minus 5. By 3 into x1 square minus 2. So, what is x1 value? 2.16 minus 2.16 whole cube minus 2 into 2.16 minus 5 by 3 point to 2.16 whole square minus 2. So, after solving this equation, we can able to get 0 to 2.09. Okay. Similarly, I can able to estimate states for an x1. So since x4 and x5 both are same, so this is the required root of the given equation. So among these values, so x4 and x5 both are same here. So that's why, so 2.095 should be the required root of the given equation. Okay. So like this, we are going to be estimate uh, the root of the given equation. So, what are the various applications of uh, Newton Raphson method? So, it should be mainly useful to find the square root of any number. 
and this one is also going to be used to find the inverse and it should also be used to find the inverse square root and this should also be the root of any given equation okay so the application of newton epsilon method is that so to find the square root of any number and to find the inverse and it should also be to find the inverse square root and the root of any given equation so what are the limitations of this uh, newton epsilon method so the f dash of x is the real disaster for this method and f dash uh, f double dash of x causes the solution to diverse and sometimes you get wrapped into the uh, local maximum number so these are the limitations have to be considered so over here the f dash of x equal to 0 is the real disaster for this method and f double dash of x causes the solution to the diverse and sometimes get wrapped into local maximum and minimum. So Newton Raphson method. So this is one of the method which is going to be solving the uh, degree of polynomial equations. And the Newton Raphson method is a numerical method. So which is going to be used to find the roots of the algebraic and transcendental equations. Okay. So here the equation should be of the form quadratic or polynomial. So it should be given by the algebraic equations which should be of the form x power 4 plus x power plus 1 equal to 0 and x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0 and x 2 minus 2 x minus 5 equal to 0 and transcendental means that so the equations which should be of the form mm -hmm. so sine cos tan uh, tan e power x x power e and all so these are the algebraic uh, transcendental equations so the way the equations is going to contain some of this sine cosine terms and Newton Epsilon method. So Newton Epsilon method, the graphical representation will be like this. And so initially I'm going to take the f of x value as the given function, then I'm going to estimate the x naught value. So from this x naught, so I'm going to calculate the slope function that should be the tan function. So which is going to be given by the equation f of x minus 0 by x i minus x i plus 1. So from here we are going to write it as f dash of x is equal to f of x by x r and then x i plus 1. And this x i plus 1 should be write it as x i minus f of x by x dash of x i. Then what is the algorithm we have to be free for finding this x i? This should be the root of the quadratic equation. So by substituting these values in the above equation we can be able to get this. So how we are going to solve this uh, uh, polynomial equation? So according to Taylor series. So according to Taylor series, so initially I am going to be assigned a small value to a function value. So h. So that should be represented as f of x naught plus h equal to zero. So in this uh, Taylor series expansion, so this should be obtained, obtained as so f of x0 plus h is equal to f of x0 plus h into f dash of x0 and h square by 2 factorial into f double dash of x0 and h cube by 3 factorial f triple dash of x0. So on reflecting on neglect, uh, neglecting this high power, so we can able to get this. So the first expression, so x1 is equal to x0 plus h and x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x naught by f dash of x naught and second approximation should be like this so on repeating this the n series will be x n plus 1 is equal to x n minus f of x n by f dash of x n. so how are we going to solve this example so by substituting these values we can able to get this and in the initial point it should be treated as so 2 plus 3 by 2 that should be 2.9 on substituting this, I am consecutively calculating this x1, x2, and x3. So, on observing this x4 and x5, so the values are same, then they should be the roots of the given equation. Then, applications of this to find the square root of the number, to find the inverse, and you know, to find the inverse square root, and you know, to find the root of any given equation. And the limitation is also same. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. 
hit the bell icon for more updates.